And AJ will take this from midfield. AJ carrying this, has the flip. What's he gonna do? Oh, AJ! Man. Woo! AJ! Well, I'm used to uh, doing this shit for uh, three times now. <laughs> you deserved it. Now, I think it's time, but of course, we have an MVP. But I need you guys to help me deliver this. Can I get a big drum roll or something? Come up with something. You. Back out towards midfield. Bluey punches that towards the box. Squishy meets him. Gimmick. Right in front, back to Squishy. Squishy off the back wall. Has this one? Oh my goodness! Squishy Muffins! Squishy always impresses every world, whether it's a ceiling shot, a flip reset, is that? or a double tap like that. What a shot! What is that? Incredible. Cloud Nine with the lead. Oh, coming in showing he's not just a sub, he's an amazing player. What a drop! Demos trying to open things up, but Mystic, he's got to have a better touch than that if they have hope of winning this series. Mog, this shot is good! Off the pass from Greasy Meister, complexity tied up. Beautiful touch here from Greasy Meister, a lot of space to work with again. Free pass to Magnus, and of course, picture perf delivery into the middle of the net. Speed again. He's just having to race back in the net, having to make a lot of these saves when he doesn't have time to really get set in the net. And he's being asked to make some difficult plays on defense, and he just can't get there. Off the kickoff, Bricks. My expectations is that we'll play well. I don't mind if we lose, if a team just comes in and plays incredible, but I just hope we play well. Just, you know, we've been practicing a lot and to play badly would be much more annoying than to play well and lose. Everyone keep the hype going for Flipside Tactics! Gentlemen, before we get started, I want to remind everyone. And now Squishy, air dribble pass into the middle. Oh, oh you're kidding! Oh. Shot. How do you even get this on target? Squishy! Kato takes control. Wants to go the long way. Next goal is the RLCS World Championship. Turbo Pulse ripping up high. Gets the flick. Turbo! Time world champion. Out, but then things change. G2 started to lose some momentum in Chicago. I want to ask what happened? What happened to you guys in game three? Uh, we came out the first two games really strong, how we wanted to play. That's why we had no un unanswered goals. But uh, after that, they adapted really well. That's what PSG does. In the last game, we talked the last 60 seconds. What do we need to do? Because we know what they're doing. And that's why I think we got the 3-0 and completed the series. And, and what were they doing? What were they doing that was And the G2 of old, you would remember, they were just so good at the team passing plays. And we saw a 1-2-3 G2 passing play in this very game. Even this play, Rizzo setting up Jane Apps for the Long Ranger. The 1-2-3 passing plays. Just the confidence and the and the trust that G2 is playing with has really helped them get this win in game one. And 
looking back on Vitality's performance in game one, Fairy Peak very, very quiet here, not getting involved in a lot of the offense. Really, the most memorable thing I saw from him is just the challenge at the top of the box on G2's side.